Hey everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo and I'm hanging out with the very lovely Becca Tilly and Jojo Fletcher. First of all, I have to tell you guys, you guys look so cute, <laughs> so fashionable. Thank you, that is a very nice compliment. <laughs> yeah, we were very stressed getting here, so we appreciate that we pulled it together. It's always better to be fashionably late, right? Because then you got the look going, you have it all set up, right? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what's going on here today. Uh, so, I mean, I was saying earlier, we're very motivated by food. Like, every time we're together, we're snacking, wondering what we're going to eat next. So we thought, what a perfect way to incorporate Stacy's cheese petites, and a girls' night in. Yes. It's perfect. Which is kind of a girls' night out, actually. Yeah, no, it really is. Yeah, yeah, it's like a girls' night in, but we're out, and we're looking cute, and, yeah. we're, and we're drinking our wine. But, yeah, speaking of wine and the cheese petites, it's the perfect combo Bachelorette Monday, what else would we be doing besides eating and watching and drinking? So it's a good Monday for us. Well, I love it, especially because you guys are such close friends and you guys bond a lot. What are some of the things that you guys do on Girls Night In, Girls Night Out, whatever you guys decide to call it? Uh, we eat. <laughs> for the record, everyone, we really just eat all the time. We order a bunch of food. We snack all the time. Mm -hmm. We get in really oversized pajamas. <laughs> I was going to say, we never look like this never. on Girls Night In. So. Um, <laughs> we just enjoy being cozy. Yeah. <laughs> cozy. I know. I definitely agree. I feel whenever you can be cozy, that is the best way to be and the best way to spend any, any night, pretty much. But let's talk about The Bachelorette. There's so much going on right now. I want to know, what, who do you guys think Becca should pick? Um, I think it's going to, I mean, it could be Blake, but I feel like everyone's thinking it's going to be Garrett. He was the first impression rose, and what did we say? How many of the past? The last three bachelorettes have chosen their first impression rose. So, I know that Blake is a favorite. Everyone loves, I mean, her final, what, we're down to what now? It'd be, I guess it'd be two after yeah, tonight. Yeah. Um, they're strong. I think that she really likes both of them. I think people really like both of them. But, like I, I said, I picked my first impression rose. The Bachelorettes before me did and after me. So, I'm leaning towards Garrett. So do you, I like how we're pulling out the stats now. You're yeah. like, this is how it it's was in the, the past. Yeah. It's all about the numbers here. No. It really is. No, no. I, it's, it's crazy to me how, like, you know, what you said, how, like, the first impression rose can mean so much. But then at the same time, Blake is a favorite. So mm -hmm. it kind of goes hand in hand. So now a recently eliminated Colton. What did you guys think? What were your thoughts on him? And were you guys shocked that he was eliminated? I did not feel comfortable with the whole Tia thing right off the bat, personally. Um, I'm not saying he's a bad guy. It was an unfortunate situation, but I felt like he could have timed it out better of how he handled things, personally. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think that him being eliminated, it didn't really affect me that much just because I felt like her connection with the other guys were stronger regardless. So the whole thing with Tia, I mean, everyone, obviously, that was like a shocker to everyone. But I don't necessarily think that that was, like, the reason why she sent him home. You know what I mean? I just feel like their relationship wasn't where the other guys yeah. were. So, Yeah, because I feel like there were so many factors that went into his elimination. You know, there was the whole, you know, meeting of the family. There was Tia's confession. There was the whole Colton being a virgin. So it kind of just all piled in all at once. Yeah. But speaking about Tia, what did you guys think about her confession? It's, you know what, I, it's, it's hard to talk about this because I know, we know Tia, we think she's lovely, she's great. And so I, I hate seeing how awful people can be towards people on the show without really fully knowing the whole situation. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, what, that was, those were her feelings. Mm -hmm. She felt like she needed to address it and it was the best timing for her to do it. I don't know if it was necessarily the best timing for everyone else involved, but at the end of the day, Becca and her are still friends. Mm -hmm. So if they were able to handle it in a, in a positive way, I think that, you know, it is what it is. It's really not yeah. that big of a deal anymore, I yeah. feel like. It's kind of like everyone's moved on, but it was a bold move going on and making that confession. Oh, for sure. After, after she had already seen him earlier in the season when she maybe could have said something. You know, she's sitting there hoping, like we were talking about this driving up here, like why wouldn't she have said it when she saw him the first time? I think in the back of her mind, she has this great friendship with Becca and she's hoping those feelings go away on their own. And unfortunately, they didn't. And it was something that she needed to address. You know, I almost feel like when you mentioned, like, why did she wait so long? But I feel like she also kind of said she didn't think that he was going to make it this far in, you know? So it's like... I, I, situation, actually. Yeah, now that you think about it, you're really like... 
I don't know. I don't need to get into it, but it's kind of a weird situation now that I'm thinking through everything. No, it really is. And I almost feel like, you know, like, again, so many different factors went into this. But now do you think that we're going to see maybe Colton and her kind of rekindle that romance? Do you think that now because her feelings are out there that there's a possibility that their romance can be rekindled? Or is he still maybe hung up on Becca? Well, I feel like he's probably not hung up on Becca. <laughs> You know, <laughs> because I'm just thinking about how you you get off the show and it hurts. And then, I mean, you spend such a small amount of time with these people when you're on the show dating them. And it's very you're very quickly able to go, OK, it is what it is. It didn't work out. Moving on to something new. I have <laughs> a new life now. Lots of followers. <laughs> like, I think he's probably like past. But I do think they're both going to be in paradise. I do, too. I, th I think something will happen in paradise if they're both there. So who do you think should be the next bachelor? Um, I'm hoping I'm hoping for Jason. I like Jason a lot too. We like Jason and we our friend Tanya has a very big crush on him apparently. Yeah. <laughs> and Becca is saying that we're gonna try and get her on to the bachelor if yeah. he becomes the bachelor. So that's our, that's the goal. So now, Jojo, what I want to know, too, is tell us, are there any wedding updates? Do you still have baby fever? What do you want to let us know about that? I don't know when that came out that I had baby fever. I, I saw that. that yeah, yeah, I think that all the rumors that uh, Becca's starting them. Um, no, I am a new aunt, so I have two really young nephews now, so I feel like that's um, fixing my sort of whatever this baby fever that everyone's talking about. So I'm good. I'm happy being an aunt. Um, no wedding date yet. Jordan and I um, are still super happy, um, very much in love. So doesn't mean that anything has changed there. But we're just enjoying our relationship. And when the timing is right and it feels perfect for us, we will do it. Well, then you also have your clothing line, Fletch. How's that going for you? <laughs> Very exciting. Like, like I said, life has been so crazy. Like, I have had so many projects. That was a huge one, something that I've been working on for so long. So, Fletch was something that Jordan was so supportive in, and he has been my bouncing board of ideas, him and Becca. Um... But Fletch has been great. It's a new project of mine. I'm very excited about it. No, that's seriously awesome. I love how you're using your platform, you know, to continue on and doing something greater. So now, Becca, also, you are you have your podcast, you're blogging, you're doing so much, again, using your platform as well. How's that been for you? It's super fun. I was just saying, JoJo, we got a huge response when Tanya and I had JoJo on. So that's the goal is getting her on again. Yeah. I've been saying I want to come back on. I know. Well, you're busy. You're a busy girl. <laughs> I'll call so, um, okay. I want you there. I okay, don't want I you to call. Um, but it's been really fun. It's it's been such a it was an unexpected, you know, thing to start and it's we've it's grown so much. So, I'm really proud of it. It's very funny. Thank you. I I'll be honest. I wasn't I've been so busy that I haven't been able to catch all of them and then I started putting them on. I was like, I love this. So you guys are doing really good. Jojo. I feel like podcasts are like that new thing that the second you find the right podcast, you're like stuck on it. Like I got to listen to it. Got to listen to it some more. So I like that you mentioned that where you're like, once I started listening, can't stop. Close. Yeah. And her and Tanya have such a good banter and relationship and they see things so differently. So it's a very good podcast. That's the gotcha. plug. That's awesome. Well, ladies, you guys have been killing it, you know, work-wise, all of that. So I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of the night. But thank you, ladies, so much for hanging out with us here today. And I hope you guys have a lovely night. Thank, thank you. you. Yay.